nice intro. <laughs> that was very good. I'm Matt Small, and this is my daughter. Hi, I'm Rosie. Hi, I'm the uh, artistic director of Small Art Music Projects in San Francisco, and um, we wanted to bring to you some videos where you can explore some musical techniques at home. Uh, most of you here in the Bay Area know us from our introduction to instrumental music classes that we've been doing for the past five years and uh, where we explore instruments from musical cultures around the world. So since we're home mostly now due to the COVID-19 situation, so we wanted to offer some things you guys could try at home. So we did one video previously that was about uh, using a hand drum simulation where you use hand techniques on a table or wooden chairs. Um, now we wanted to share something similar that's a hand drum gong cymbal simulation. So we picked up these silver bowls that are cooking bowls that you can find at home, hopefully in your kitchen if someone is a cook or a chef in your house, see if they have any of these silver metal bowls. And um, one of the ideas we talked about last time was using your intuition to figure out what you think sounds best when you're either hitting on a table or trying a different, hitting on a water bottle or something. Um, between these two silver bowls, I like one better than the other. I'll just demonstrate them for you real fast. This one has a nice sound. I like the sound of this one. But this one has kind of a special sound, I think, in the center part here. It's a sort of a higher sound, it's more reverberant. So this is my favorite, this bowl I like better than that bowl. So just experiment with what you have at home. And um, let's start something for little kids. Maybe put a towel down on your table and put a bowl down and then just try some simple, uh, simple little techniques. Last time we talked about using the full part of your hand to hit a drum. Uh, maybe just try, try that. You try that. That was good. That's really good. Now you did something fancy too, where you, that's using the whole hand. So that's a closed sound where you dampen the vibration of the thing that you're, that you're hitting. So we're kind of, we're hitting it and we're dampening the vibration of the bowl. Now let's try it. What you did where you use one finger where you try to strike the bowl and let it resonate. Totally different sound than, so this is a closed sound and that's an open sound. So you want to try the open sound? Try it. See if you can get sure, it. Open. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. That's really good, exactly. You, you you strike it and then get away from it. That's a little bit harder to do. So experiment with closed sounds and open sounds. Or if you have a very little kid, just get them tapping on a bowl. When we have little kids in class, they love to just experiment with uh, simple sounds and simple techniques. Um, if you're for a kid who's a little bit older, um, let's talk about um, mixing these together. So you can try try two hands, and then maybe try mixing in one finger and hands. That's a little bit tricky, but try to do some mixtures. Uh, experiment with keeping a steady beat if you can, um, or just doing starting simple. And then now th the next part of this, you try to mess around with an in-between closed and open sound. So there's that open sound. Now try dampening it, maybe press your finger down. So that's kind of interesting. You can get by also pressing, oftentimes when you have a real drum head, here we have a real drum head right here. Um, this is one of the drums that we show in class. It's just a typical tom-tom drum that you'd find in a drum set or in a marching band. And when you press down on a drum head as you hit it, it changes the sound, changes the pitch of the drum. So. So anyway, we're using that. We can still do that with a silver bowl if it's malleable enough. So, um, for older teens, let's maybe, uh, some teenagers who are experienced musicians, where did the, where did the metronome go? Yeah. Let's pull out a metronome and see if we can do something fancy for a metronome. Let's do something fast. We'll do a fast tempo for. So that's, so that's a nice fast tempo experiment. I'm also using a thumb too, so you can do uh, index finger. Try your thumb as well as a good one, because this is not, thumb on a table kind of hurts a little bit, but thumb on this doesn't hurt all that much, so just don't hurt yourself, just have fun. And um, also, Rosie had a great idea of trying to do a, a wooden spoon and Tupperware drum kit. So, um, but before we do that, I wanted to share one more thing. If you have two bowls at home, 
I did this weird thing this this morning where I tried to combine them and I get a totally different sound. Stick with tree. So that's kind of interesting. So if you've got one bowl, this bowl, put them together. It's kind of cool. So just mess around, experiment, try different things. Let's do your, now let's try the Tupperware drum set where we maybe put a, ta a towel out so you don't ruin your, your folks' table. Yeah, so let's do, let's pick the good, we'll pick the good silver bowl here. We don't need that silver bowl. Pop that one down. And we'll do, this is like our, the drum, here, put it right here. So this will be our, this will be our, our drum set. Silver bowl is like the hi-hat, which is the lower drum. This one's lower, right? So this will be our bass drum. So try not to break your Tupperware. Use some rubber, what are these called, spatulas? Spatula. Use a spatula, some Tupperware, a metal, metal ball, and uh, last but not least, let's try, let's give you a little sense of what this sounds like as a gong. Sort of hold your hand open, put the bowl here, and just give that a little hit. So try the wood, hit with the wood. Yeah. Totally different sound, right? It's, the rubber probably won't make it, let's see. <laughs> it does make a different sound though, right? <laughs> Flies away. Anyway, so it can be used as a gong, as a hi-hat, as a cymbal. Uh, enjoy, experiment, Tupperware, spoons. Oh, and the real drum. Yeah, let's show, why don't you show, that's what Rosie started to play. Let's just do two seconds on the real drum. Some sticks. So, this is a drum that we have a class. Here, move over a second, over here. We have a low, a, low, a low side, a higher side, hitting the rims. That's it, enjoy. Thank Bye. you. Bye.